Well, look, you can just say, Craig, are you ready? Or are you, you don't have to go, are you ready on the floor? Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, sir. <laughs> but I want, now we've started. <laughs> right. <laughs> So I was thinking, you know, late night, it's always jokes, 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 right, Jeff? Oh, yeah. Jokes, yeah. jokes, jokes. So I thought, what about a change? What about poetry? <laughs> the hell, man? I know. I'm just like, poetry? Really? I, I, that would explain a lot. This audience are really into poetry. <laughs> So I thought I'd read some Edgar Allan Poe tonight because that's hilarious. <laughs> you want to do a little bit of Poe? Oh with yeah, me? yeah, very funny stuff. Oh, yeah. it's very funny. Here, here's one. Are you ready? Yeah. Which one is it? Right, this is called a dream. A dream. Yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. All right then. In visions of the dark night. <laughs> 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 Oh, no, no, it's, it's, uh, I can't even, I read the next line, it's too sad. I can't even pretend that it's... Uh, uh, no, the next line's hilarious. Let, no, let me it's do not, it. no, 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 somebody dies. <laughs> and, and they don't die in a funny way, like, you know, step on a whoopee cushion and hit their head off a banana or anything like that. How about this one? But a waking dream of life and light. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking, it's becoming evident why there isn't more poetry on late night television. <laughs> All right, I'll do a limerick. You know what a limerick is, don't sure, you? Sure, sure. All right, here's a limerick. There was a young man from Dundee who was stung on the leg by a wasp. <laughs> <laughs> when yeah. he was asked, was it sore, he said, no, no. <laughs> All right. So I can do it again if it likes. That was really good, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> You got any? Uh... Yeah, there once was a guy from France mm -hmm. who's oh, in your pants. <laughs> well, there'll be no more poetry on tonight's show. That's the good news. We'll be right back. <laughs> Sponsored by Ford. Go further. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. as if it were real, sit down, <laughs> relax, you at home too, unbuckle your pants, uh, practice some self-massage. <laughs> and let's try and all forget that it's uh, November the 15th, my ex-wife's birthday today. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Sasha. It is, of course, a great day for America, everybody. Yes, indeed. It is. Uh, no, I tell you, I'll tell you why. It's uh, uh, Breaking Dawn Part Two, the new Twilight movie, opened at midnight tonight. <gasps> well, it was midnight tonight, or uh, will open at midnight depending on your region. <laughs> Look, as soon as this show's over, I'm getting in line. I'm finally, you know, get a chance to show off my new tramp stamp. <laughs> Got a picture of it? Yeah, you are. Uh, 
<laughs> Sometimes I think we don't even try, you know? Hey, you have a, you have a very pretty back. Thank you. Yeah, let me see my back again. <laughs> yeah. That was, uh, that was just after I got it waxed. Very graceful, very graceful. Thanks very much indeed. You know whose birthday it is today? Whose birthday? I'll tell you. Uh, my ex-wife's birthday and... Do you know who else's birthday is? NBC. Yes, NBC turns 86 years old today. Unlike most 86-year-olds, it watches CBS. <laughs> anyway, today... No, today... <laughs> Do you know, sometimes when Secretariat nods, he seems so wise, doesn't he? As like, he's just... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Today, of course, is America Recycles Day. We are uh, celebrating here. All of tonight's jokes are from previous shows, just like any other night. <laughs> Do we have a picture of Paul McCartney? There he is. <laughs> You're welcome, Earth. Today is also... <laughs> Today is also the 37th annual Great American Smoke Out. So take that butt out of your mouth. And also don't smoke. No, today is the day... <laughs> <laughs> Today is the day that we're encouraged to get rid of tobacco, or if you're from the South, tobacco, uh, or if you're from the Midwest, tobacco, and if you're from France, breakfast. But <laughs> see what I did? Uh, yeah. You see what that I did? That was good, man. That's a real joke, actually. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's do the joke dance. <laughs> this is the dance that we do when when we tell a genuine late night joke. I think, I think when they, <laughs> I think, I think when the audience starts to clap along, I think it's gone too far. Yeah, yeah. It's like, let us out of here. We're scared it's a little like Lawrence Welk, but with a foreigner. Anyway, it's the great American smoke out. I think we're supposed to shame people into not smoking. Well, I'm not going to do that. I used to smoke, and I had a good excuse to start. I lived in Scotland. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it was, it was six. I was like, time for school. <laughs> I quit smoking cigarettes about 15 years ago. I still smoke a little meth, you know, but I don't... Uh, no, I don't smoke anything. The only time you'll see me light up is when there's a sale at Hot Topic. <laughs> Sometimes, though, I do get a craving and people say, Hey, Craig, try one of those e-cigarettes. I'm like, no thanks. That's like drinking near beer. And people have offered me near beer. Near beer has alcohol in it. If I drink near beer, I'll move on to near whiskey. I'll end up doing a near line of coke. Then I'll end up... <laughs> you got any near coke? <laughs> then I'll end up in near jail with a near sore ass. <laughs> and I'll be... And I'll be... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What else? What else would I be near, Jeff? What else would I be near? Yeah, near my pants. <laughs> I'd be near a man who would be my jail husband. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, some people give celebrities a hard time if they smoke. And they should. Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson have both been criticized for smoking in public. To be fair, though, Kristen recently quit. I bet she still cheats. <laughs> <laughs> and also smokes. <laughs> Drew Barrymore started smoking when she was five years old. And the, that's might be true. Is that true? <laughs> nah, that's not true, but if it was true, it'd be awful, wouldn't it? No, in the original script for E.T., she lured E.T. into her home with a pack of menthols, and then... <laughs> and then when E.T. turned on his heart light, you could see the early stages of coronary artery disease. <laughs> he was like... E.T. phone HMO. <laughs> E.T. Oh, phone man. home. Yeah, I know. Man, oh man. Yeah, it's topical, isn't it? That was great. Man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, some people say the link between smoking and poor health has been exaggerated, and these people are called tobacco executives. These are the guys that came up with Joe Camel. Do you remember Joe Camel? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah Joe Camel was the cartoon animal that encouraged kids to smoke, and his head was famously resembled a, a penis. <laughs> True. Yeah, then they, they thought about making him less penisy and uh, changing his name to uh, Joe Camel Toe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See? Yeah. Went one way, then came back the other yeah. way. Went one way, came back the other way. Come on, Beth, that was all right. A little inappropriate. <laughs>
That's my thing. <laughs> Do you know over in Britain they have something called No Smoke Day? It's just, well, they call it, they don't say that, they say, No Smoke Day. <laughs> It's like the American version, but there's none of the emphasis on the benefits to your teeth. <laughs> oh, oh, I you see. Know, teeth stained with nicotine are a delightful improvement. <laughs> but otherwise, you probably should not smoke. <laughs> right. Right. Or maybe Downton Abbey. We should do Downton Abbey voice. Yes, yeah, quite. That's quite... I love that. That's I, quite, I'd rather enjoy doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I get so posh, I don't even... <laughs> Well, I say, I'm not... No, 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 I was just all talking and I get the words get so jumbly wumbly in my head, I just... No! Would you care to come over for a spot of near crack? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, I would. Yes, and I would love to you're watching The Late Late Show, the number one choice in near entertainment of octogenarians everywhere. That's right, Craig. Lots of... <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a lot of... Uh, we'll add stuff later on. And also, we're going to have... Th that's also those things. Craig, I thought it was going to be a poetry spectacular tonight. Well, you thought wrong, bitches. <laughs> I'm sorry for saying that. I hate when people use that word, and I use that word. I'm sorry. Yeah, can, I, was... can I say it again? Yeah, you thought do. wrong. What's the coming to go? <laughs> <laughs> Then. Hey, Jeff, what time would it be? Hey, target demographic, kick up your feet, remove your gums, and turn up that hearing aid. It's tweet mail time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, good time. <laughs> play the jingle, then. Go on, play a jingle. From uh, Charlie in the United Kingdom. Well, well if it's, <laughs> hey, we should. If it's the United Kingdom, we should probably talk like this. Yes, I think rather. No, rather, rather, rather. rather. I, I shouldn't say Charlie. I should say Charles. 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 Charles yes, well, Charles. From Charles in the United Kingdom. And Charles says, "Dear Craig and Jeff, what is the best way to chat up a hot woman from America if you're British?" <laughs> I should make sure that your teeth are yes, <laughs> clean. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, yes. uh, I should arrange your teeth in some sort of. Manner and also, um. Make sure your breath is. Yeah. Yeah. And also, you are. No, that's rather, rather. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I hope that helps. Uh, this is from Peter in Melbourne, Australia. Oh, dear. Yeah, if, if we ever get a, an email from America, it'll be a uh -oh. miracle. <laughs> Anyway, Peter in Melbourne, Australia. You have to talk in Australian accent. Australian, yeah, Australian. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Craig, how will I know if my tweet made it onto your show? <laughs> well, you won't know until November the 15th, will you, mate? <laughs> but wait, Craig, that's today. Not in Australia. Ah! Uh... <laughs> This is uh, from David in Minneapolis. Yay! Oh, right, man. Yeah, right, yeah. Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, do you think women have any idea of, of how much we think about sex? No, none at all. <laughs> no, no, it's true. See, when a woman is really not thinking about sex at all, like, feel, like maybe uh, if you've got the flu or something, you think, oh, I'm not really thinking about sex. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's not like us. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you were saying. I was thinking about sex. <laughs> now, here's an interesting thing, though. 
If men think about sex all the time, right? Yeah. Do gay men think about sex as much as straight men, or do they think about it more, or do they think about it less? Oh, it's ten times more, girlfriend. <laughs> I don't see that that's possible. I think straight men think about sex a lot. I don't have a penis, so that poses a problem for me. No, not in the thinking stages, it doesn't. <laughs> 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 Kind of getting turned on, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, and finally, this is from Teresa in Melbourne, Australia. What the hell? Well, I don't know if you can tell from this little uh, photograph there, but Teresa's one of them uh, little tits. A little, little one of them little tits that likes to uh, peck. Yeah. Little What's she pecking there, Jeff? Yeah, she's pecking some wood there. Oh, right, mate. <laughs> All right. <laughs> This is, I'm not only trying my Australian accent, I'm trying a new facial expression. <laughs> what do you think, mate? It's very creepy. It's extra creepy. Oh, that's... I like it. I like it. It's all sort of a creepy Australian. Yeah, right, yeah. All right, mate. <laughs> all right, mate. She says, uh, dear Craig, your Aussie accent is a pisser. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. I think that means it's good. It oh, does it? All oh, right, okay. <laughs> Well, that's good. Um, wow, that went a long way. Did you see that there? Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, I almost tried to get back to Australia there. <laughs> you ever been to Australia, Jeff? I sure have, yeah. You know when they're, uh, the, the, uh, when they flush the bathroom or when you pour water, it goes round a different way? Uh-huh, yeah. That's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, you, uh, you had that dream. I know we've talked about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had that dream where I was the Prime Minister of Australia. And I got all these tweets from Australia from these Australians going, yeah, it'd be all right with us. <laughs> they're, they're actually all for it, man. Well, some of them. I think, to be fair, you know, about 12 people on Twitter isn't the entire population of Australia. <laughs> That's a lot, though. That's 12. That's 12, Craig. <laughs> no, I like it here. You know, you and me, we get the fire going. <laughs> It's a, long, it's a long commute for me to be Prime Minister of Australia. Yeah, it's a bit far. Yeah. It's a bit far. I gotta get home. What do you got going on there? <laughs> you know, just home stuff. <laughs> gotta put some shelves up in the garage at the weekend, that kind of thing. Oh, you're finishing that project? That's mm. cool. Mm. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Craig, why are you talking about this? It's because Michael is furiously trying to get me to go to a yeah. commercial break. So I thought, well... <laughs> Let's, let's hang out for a while. <laughs> you, ever, uh, you ever do that at the weekend, put up any shelves around? Oh, hell yeah. Hell oh, yeah? yeah. I just put a, an add-on on my place. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What, yeah. what where, around the back there, near where the Around the is? back, always in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what you're saying is you like it a little bit extra in the back? A little bit extra in the back, mm -hmm. yeah. A little, uh... <laughs> Look, he's just, they're just talking to each other now. They're not even paying attention to us. Look. Look, they're just talking to each other. Look, look at them, seriously. <laughs> he's talking about shelves. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Tonight is an Emmy-nominated actor. Ooh. It's all right, all right, come on, it's not that good. <laughs> it's not, I've been nominated for an Emmy, doesn't make you that good, does it? No, nobody gives a rat's ass. No, no, no. <laughs> anyway, don't mention that when he comes out, he's probably very proud of it. Yeah, sure, I'm sure he is. All right, anyways, on he stars in New Girl, which airs Tuesdays on Fox. Please welcome the lovely Max Greenfield, everybody. Max Greenfield. How are you? I'm great. Listen, congratulations on that Emmy nomination. That's fantastic. We did it. Yeah! That's great. You look great. So do you. Wait, I, I say you look great. You don't come out and I, say Because I wanted to beat you to the point. Why? why? Because why not? Don't, don't mess with the format of late night. That's not right. But I, wa I, wanna, I wanted to jump on it before you got there. All right. Uh, uh, I you look hear... fantastic. You look great. How was New York? It was all right. Yeah. Hey, I wasn't even in New York. <laughs> 
I, I like your sweater. Thank you very much. No, it's very nice. Yeah, Are you expecting uh, it to be cold? Well, I don't know. I, I hear you keep it cold here, and I like I, do like I like the green. It brings out my eyes. A it bit. does bring out Look, your I eyes. I see you did the same thing with your tie. And uh, well, I wore this tie a few weeks ago, and it was very popular. So I thought I wore it. It was a real home run. Yeah, no. I, I was watching backstage, and I thought you've been backstage for a couple of weeks. Well, no, but I. I <laughs> nominated actor here man you can't have him hanging around no 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 I want I want it to be here oh, I right, want it, okay. and then I saw the tie and I saw you, you were wearing the tie when you read that beautiful poem oh thanks for yes it. are you a fan of poetry I like poems yeah what's yeah. your uh, what, what kind of poetry do you like I, well, do you I like Yeats do you like Yeats oh the Irish eh? <laughs> enigmatic scary not too not too familiar with Yeats or no. many other poets for that matter but I will tell you this what um, I, I liked where you were going with the initial poem that you were reading well it was by Edgar Allan Poe he's an American it's rare that we get any correspondence from them on the show I, well, sure. I would have liked for you to have seen it through. You stopped when there was a, uh, y you know, an emotional line, mm. and you said, this is going too dark, but maybe there was some, some light at the end of that poem for everybody to hear. <laughs> no, because I skimmed ahead, and there wasn't. Did I, you really? Uh, uh, the, it, it was it, all darkness? It went dark, and then worse. Uh, oh, that's a yeah. shame. Yeah, it was a little bit. That's why I steer clear of anything, you know, literature. Yeah, me, me too. I like I like pictures. I like to hear I like to hear the poems, not so much read them. Right. I like it better if they're just interpreted in an Instagram format. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of of uh, of watching things, I hear I hear you're into Yo Gabba Gabba these days. Yeah, yeah, I've been watching it a lot. Yeah, yeah. How did you know that? Yeah. Well, you know, I hear things. You've been still hanging around here. Yeah, I've been watching because I, I, I got my I got my ear to you, the uh, you've to the got a kid the same age as my kid, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My youngest is two. Your youngest is about two. Yeah. Yeah. She, well, she'll be three in in January. So you watch the you watch DJ Lance. DJ Lance. And you'll get hello, friends. Hello. Yeah. Did you see my hat move around? Sure. Two D. Two D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fufa. F Fufa. Muno. Muno and mm. Flex the robot. Uh, it's Plex. Plex. Yes, it's Plex. He's the yellow robot. No, I think he's, it's Flex. I'm 100% I'm sure it's, it's Flex. I don't understand the accent. I think it's, I think it's Flex. Because I was thinking, Flex! Don't look the, it up on a phone. Yeah. No, I no, don't. Don't, no, don't they, look These it up. don't have phones. They're hoes. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> what did you watch when you were a kid then? Saved by the Bell. You are about that age. Oh, yeah. We were real into Saved by the Bell. Um, but even before that, I, you know, still Sesame Street. Oh, yeah. Everyone yeah. loves it. Have you been on it yet? No. Maybe you could be in the dance thing in Yo Gabba Gabba. They have the dance thing there. I know. Elijah I, Wood we, did one. I watched one. Elijah Wood is the guest on Yo Gabba Gabba. And he was wonderful. He was great. Yeah, I've yeah. seen them all. All of them? <laughs> I've seen all of them multiple times. At this what about the Teletubbies? You seen all of them? Not, no, we're not into the Teletubbies. Oh, really? Big time Dora. I'm, Dora the Explorer? Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. And her boyfriend, Diego? Oh, yeah. Go. Yeah. Go Diego, go. Go Diego, go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I carved a pumpkin this uh, this year. Is that for my code daughter. for something? Is that a sex thing? Go Diego, go. No, carved a pumpkin. Well, <laughs> Jeff, is that a sex thing? Oh hell yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're talking about go Diego, go. No, we're not talking about sex. Oh okay. Not too too. <laughs> I carved a pumpkin. Okay. Yeah. For my, yeah, yeah. For my daughter. Right. Okay. Yes. And I made Dora. You made Dora of a and, pumpkin. And I was about. That's was, racist. How is that racist? I don't know. I made. A I just thought I would throw it at you, see where it landed. I carved, yeah. I carved Dora into a pumpkin, and I did a really good job. I that felt like it great. went did really well. Did you bring a picture of it? Well, no. Then I, I have to take your word for it. Yes. All right. That sounds like it was really good. It was really well. I got you know you, you get a, it was it was a difficult one where you're just like you're really going in there and you're making some artistic lines and then. About 45 minutes in, I thought, wow, this is going really well. If this should fall apart at this point, I'm going to be really devastated. Mm. Sure enough, it did not fall apart. Great. And uh, w what... What we did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it would have been... It would have really, uh, you know, slammed this thing home if you'd either had a photograph or bought the Hi, pumpkin in for me to see it. <laughs> I think the pumpkin fell apart, to be totally honest with you, last night. But now, let for me ask a minute, you a question. Do you think pumpkins are uh, decaying faster than they used to? Yes. I think so, right? Because I carved mine the other day. And when I say carved my pumpkin, what did you, I mean just... Uh, what did you do? I, you know, triangle eyes, scary mouth. That's all I do. What, and that was not uh, that was not sexual. No, 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 no. no. Triangle eyes, scary mouth. That's not a sexual... It's carving a pumpkin. Get, get your head I, out of there, man. That's what I was saying in the first place. Right. Anyway, so I carved it in, in it, like, two days. Yeah. Like that. That was it. Yeah. I know. 
and then they, they, it gets. What, uh, you know what I noticed though? What? The candle we put in it was too was a was a large candle. Oh, was that a scented candle? No, 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 oh. no. It was it was a but it was too big for the pumpkin. It started burning the pumpkin. Oh. I was unaware of this, and then all of a sudden I started smell. I go, oh, that smells good, like. <laughs> And I asked my wife. Good like, and dangerous. Well, sure, thing. but I wasn't sure, I wasn't aware that something was burning. And I asked my wife, "Did you make toast?" And she goes, "No." And then I, and it dawned on me, "Oh, the pumpkin's burning." And I go, "Let's burn, let's let it burn a little bit longer, because it smells so good." Yeah. You know, whenever I smell toast, I think I'm having a stroke. And yet, <laughs> why? Well, I don't even think it's a thing, but I just got it in my head. I, yeah. Because it's, it's, it's like taste pennies, but I don't taste pennies. I smell toast, and I, think, oh, I think I'm having a stroke. Every morning when I smell breakfast, I'm like, oh no, and then I, then I'm alright. But, you know, one morning I could be right. Well, <laughs> let's hope not. Well, let's hope not. We, we have to take a commercial break. You do it. Well, okay, well, uh, we're going to commercial break. We're going to be right back with more uh, m me and you. Yeah. And uh, have, there it is. <laughs> Come here, come here, look at this. Look, look. Oh, there it is. Yeah, look at that. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you. I put a picture of this pumpkin on Twitter, yeah. and the response was overwhelming. What's your Twitter handle? I am Greenfield. That's it? Yeah. At I am Greenfield. <laughs> nah, that's not very good. Why not? <laughs> What's yours? Craigie Ferg. I know, I follow you. You follow me on the tweeting? Sure, sure I do. Yeah. You follow me? Uh, well, yeah. No, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> you know why? You know how I know? Hi. Because if you did, you would have seen the, my uh, my pumpkin. <laughs> no, let's All not. Right, it okay. could have gone. I was checking. I was checking. It uh, could have no. gone someplace else. But I'm yeah. saying, I put it up there. What? What? What a response from the. Did the people? Fans. Did people like it? People loved it. How many uh, Tweety fans have you got? Their followers. Your. Uh, um, I, it's like two two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred thousand. Yeah. Whoa. Can you imagine? Good lord! And I started with one. That's insane! <laughs> and that was my mom. My, mom's, my mom followed me. And she, was, what, she was excited to follow me. I'll bet she was. I didn't have a lot to say in the beginning. What's your mom's Tweety handle? She's not on there. I mean, or she, 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 I don't know what her... I, I think it's like at Mrs. Josie, uh, Miss Josie BG or something. You should follow her. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's a maniac on there. <laughs> How was Radio City? That's all right. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. You get nervous when you do something like that? Yeah. No. It's just a big giant historical nervous. event. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was crapping my pants. Yeah. A little bit. It's yeah, a good but it's fun, though. It's sure. Fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff was there as well. Yeah. I oh yeah. Good yeah. times. Good times. <laughs> Jeff, how'd you how'd you feel about it? That was great, man. I loved it. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there were da we had dancers. Did you, did you really? Yeah. It was also it was a whole thing. Uh, oh yeah. Oh wow. Good for oh, you. Man. Uh, hey, hey. Yes. Uh, your show. Uh, how is it? Oh, but I want to hear about no, the stand-up. No, 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 man. Can no, yeah, new girl. Yeah, yeah. It's the best. Great. Uh, all right, you want it? We're out of time. <laughs> well, a piece of fruit. We got a new piece fruit. Of it's, uh, it's a new day, new fruit. Uh, what do you think? You want a sweet, a sweet Mamie? Well, you know, I'm more of a it's vegetable guy. Oh, vegetables? I don't think we well, got what do we got? What is this? This got... is the l biggest, weirdest banana. Do you want a lady apple? Do you want a lady apple? A lady apple and, yeah. a, and a banana. It's a lady apple. It's the clitoris of apples. <laughs> Good luck. No one can find it. No one can find it. It's a joke, man. It's a joke. Look at all these. Hey, you know what that is? That is a hat waiting to happen. Come on. Come on, Carmen Miranda. Or what if you made a necklace? Oh, of it? I love it. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's nice. All right, you want the bananas then? Yeah, sure, I'll take this. All right, then. I could use this. <laughs> well, I, you know, I came here and I thought, oh, oh, could I just get some mini bananas? Uh, They're actually called uh, a grouping of mini ba bananas. Baby bananas. Ba baby, sure, baby bananas from Guatemala. Do you know baby bananas, the dancer? Hmm? <laughs> We, we went to high school together. You and Baby Bananas? Yeah. I hear he's the greatest dancer of all. Shows how well you know him. He is a she. I haven't seen him for a while. Yeah. And let me, 
<laughs> she was a fantastic student. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. What do you think her best subject was? Bananas. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Get out of here. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Next guest is a beautiful actress. Do you believe it, Jeff? Oh, I don't believe it. Yes, it's true. <laughs> She's in a new series called Ben and Kate, which is on Tuesday nights on Fox. Please welcome the adorable Lucy Punch, everybody. Lucy Punch. Hello, Lucy. You look yes. absolutely enchanting. Oh, little black dress. Nice. Mm, yes. Very nice. Thank you. I like your new studio. Thank you very much indeed. Yes. We've been here for some time. You have. <laughs> it's new to me, but it you is. still have. Still have all the. That uh, I have my makeup and my stuff. Mug. Yeah. It's I'm a lovely view. Yes, yeah, LA in yeah. all its glory. Spectacular. <laughs> Very nice. Um, listen, yes. uh, you're English. Yes, I Are am. Are you posh English? Very. Oh, right. Very, do you ever get very, Do you ever get so posh you completely just don't even know? Sometimes I can't like this. I can't even understand. Right. I'm right. Yeah. I sometimes just go. Yeah. 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 I did. I did. Still mm. have it? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We all, when I, when I, that's what I wear when I go back to London. Everyone, all, you really just. Yo, I know, I remember. I used to yeah. live in London. Yeah. I remember it well. Yeah. Mobs of yeah. <laughs> schoolgirls in their yeah. 20s walking up and down. Yeah. <laughs> have you moved to America now? Then? Yes, I have. Good well, for you. Here six years now so um you've yeah. lost your accent too i yeah. can see yeah yeah um have you adopted an american lifestyle do you uh surf and enjoy the work of bon jovi no i haven't at all i have not i, <laughs> I got a dog though which you got I a feel, dog yeah that makes you like american a, well, that's it feels it. like a very la people everyone lots of people have dogs take do you, is it a little tiny dog you can put in your handbag no it's sort of that sort of size Oh, is that a regular sized dog? Regular. What yeah. part of the dog are you doing? That's, that's, that's its head and then its tail sort of. It's a guy, yeah. So it's about that size with a tiny little snouty head? Because yes, it, it's teeny. sounding a little bit like it's an armadillo. I don't know yeah. if it is. Is it an armadillo? Hang on. What do you feed it? Ants? Spider. Maybe you're right. No, I think yes. it might be an armadillo. I adopted an armadillo. Well, never yes, mind. They're delicious. Armadillo. Yes. <laughs> So, uh, you've got a little... What's the dog's name? His name is Asterix, which is a comic <laughs> book character, but everyone thinks it's the punctuation mark, and his favourite homeless person in L.A., my dog knows a lot of homeless people, um, calls him Anthrax. <laughs> It's not, it's not that I am concerned about your dog knowing homeless people. I'm, I'm concerned that your dog picks favourites. Yeah. Well, Marshall um, is very generous with my dog with um, snacks. Um, so we both, kind of we both like it. What are we like talking him. about? Little cookie morsels. Cookie you know, morsels. Little morsels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. that's that. I think cookie morsels worked with baby bananas at one point. <laughs> so listen, uh, Ben and Kate, what's that ben about then? Ben and Kate uh, is about brother and sister. Uh oh. And they are raising Kate's little baby cute angel called Maddie. I am neither Ben or Kate. Are you the cute or, baby angel? I'm not. I should be, though. Um, I feel I'm probably about 20, 30 years too old for that part. But, um, 20, 30 isn't 20, a number. 20, 30-ish. It's a number-ish. <laughs> it's a kind of number. I am playing the unfortunately named BJ. <laughs> So, uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> Don't even go there. Don't even go there. See, you picked that up and you didn't get that. That was, no. No, that was, don't even go, go there. there is not, yes. you don't see that in Downton Abbey. People are like, don't even go there. I can't believe I did that. Yeah, you did it. You did, you almost said talk to the hand. Uh, a little bit. That was, you're right. Yeah, yeah. You've got nice fingers. They're very long. Yeah, I know. Very Perfect for, but for spindling. And I do that. Do you spindle well, much? I knit and do I don't knit? even need needles. Oh, nice. Because just, of my fingers. You just get yarn and... Hands in a ball of wool, pair of socks. Nice. <laughs> Done. That's lovely. Yeah. Um, can I tempt you with some fruit? I would love some All fruit. All right, let's Thank see what you. we've got here. Um, I think we've got a lady apple in here somewhere, but I can't find oh it. Oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> Maybe I can knit this fruit. Knit the fruit together into some into kind of fruit flan. Salad. No, 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 no. Um, I'm going to have this. <laughs> It's a coconut. Thank you. <laughs> have you, have you got a? Are you gonna? I've got a lovely bunch of them. No, 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 no. This is it. I don't. You're not going to cut it open and put a straw in for me. Um. Well, I don't have anything to. Oh, well, you know what? I do actually. There's a knife here and a yeah. cutting board, but okay. I don't think that knife will cut there. Let's see. Let's have a go. Give it a bash. Let's see. Knife. <laughs> Oh, no. There you go. You look, did it. look. Yeah, look. Mm. Oh, you know, it's a coconut. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Come on. If only I had little spindly fingers. Yes. There you go. There you go. All right. Come on then. <laughs> Wait, can I just stop you? What? what? I got my fingers caught in the damn coconut. Do you want a drink of coconut juice? No, I feel like I want a banana now. You want a banana yeah. now? You can have a banana! I just, now... You gotta have a damn coconut! I got the coconut! It. Now I've seen it. I just think I'd just rather have a banana if that's okay. Do you mind? <laughs> Thank you. Small banana or large banana? Large banana. I thought so. Lucy Punch, everybody. We'll be right back with this. Can I, uh, can I crack this nut for you, Jeff? If you would, please. Yeah, and, uh, and also, uh, I'll put some in your cup. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See, when I'm doing this... Oh, look, look at that. <gasps> Just right for a coconut bra. You know, that reminds me of a lyric, a limerick I was thinking of. Uh, a limerick? Yeah, a limerick. Yeah. All right, try it then. There once was a man from Glasgow who hosted his own late-night talk show with a robot who's gay and a horse that snorts hay. How we're still on the air, I do not know. Good night, everybody. Beautiful.